overall not really that difficult. Uh, the pucker factor was pretty high. I think I was just really nervous. This Ford behind me has the CD 4E automatic transmission. They put these in a ton of things. I think they started in 1998 with the Probe. This is a 2007 Escape, same transmission. This one is made by Borg Warner, who happened to make the originals for Ford. So this is what's going in today. I think shipped to my house, this was 120 bucks off of eBay. Uh, the part number is 50082. Borg Warner claims that this will work on all CD4E transmissions and that it is in fact the upgrade to some of the earlier models. We need to jack the car up, put it in neutral, drain the radiator. Let's get in here and get to pulling things off. You can see pulling our cover off. This is the pump cover. Return line. This is our transmission pan that we have to get to. She's out and our solenoid is right there on top. Unfortunately for all of us, you can't just pop this out. You have to take the whole manual valve body out. I think there's 10 or 12 bolts. And then we need to make sure that this right here doesn't fall out. This guy right here. So it's a little sketchy. Um, I'm going to be honest. I'm not quite sure how I feel about this. Pulled out all these bolts. They're on long shoulder bolts. So if they don't look like this, you need to tighten them back up. The book says, be careful about the manual valve body. I can't, which has got a little lever right here. So we're gonna pull this out. I guess we'll see together, huh? <sighs> Moment of truth. Whoo! Okay, so she came out. Um, I was so stressed, I didn't realize my, uh, my camera was off, so it's a lot easier to see once, once it's not even in there. So, oh, all these little bolts, you gotta skip them. You can't just take all of them out. I was all stressed out, y'all. It was ridiculous. I just cut the connector, because I know that's a, a known bad solenoid valve. So I gotta get that connector out. Um, once I do, we'll put we'll put the new one on right here. In the grand scheme of getting stuff out, that probably wasn't a big deal. Um, I'm just terrified of transmissions. So we're gonna pull these bolts out right here. We'll throw in the new one, and uh, oh, and we're gonna get that plug out. It's got two clips that clip this way, and we gotta squeeze them in, push it through the transaxle housing. Uh, let's get after. These are seven foot pounds, and these are ten foot pounds. So when we go put it back together, that's what we need to get. I'm going to have to go grab my torque wrench here in a second. Fluid's looking all right. If you go check out my other video from where I picked this up from the co-part, that fluid was just, it was trashed. I don't know, let's get this dried off. And then we'll put these bolts in the same spot. Now, this is a subtle difference. This hole is bigger than this hole. So there are two large dowels. You need to make sure you put it, the gasket. And this has got a little tiny screen on it. I'm very curious to see if it's got any junk in it. That is what a brand new one looks like. I glue it in here because they do pressure check these before they send them out. There's dowel pins here and here. So there's only one real way that you can put this thing on. You put it on that way. And then we'll, we'll check this one. Because remember, so we haven't taken these bolts out yet. It should look very similar. There's a little tiny bit of debris on there, but I think overall it's not too bad. So this goes this way. I'm going to clean this mess off. I don't know if I should be doing that, but guess what? I'm doing it anyway. 
Make sure those dowels seat appropriately. Now I'm not gonna go crazy with this. Just a tiny bit of nasty gunk right there. But overall it's pretty clean. So that's good, it means there's no gunk floating in the transmission. Get this connector out. I love how the manual just says, push the tabs and press it back through. Like this thing, this is, this thing is not doing anything nicely. About to get the hammer of persuasion out. Let's just take a breath and do it right. Oh, it really, okay, there it goes. So you gotta push these two tabs in so it squeezes and then give it a little tap. Check this O-ring, make sure you're new it's got one. We're gonna put a little oil on it so when you shove it back in, it plays nice. The, the manual goes to a lot of trouble to tell you to make sure this manual shift solenoid doesn't fall out. So make sure it doesn't fall out. Don't lose a pin. Uh, I guess you can't, it looks like it's pressed into the thing. Let me hose this off with a little bit of brake clean. Let that flash off. And then uh, we'll we'll work on assembly. Oh, and you see this? This will only go in one way. And I should have paid attention to which way it was when I took it out. Oh well. Hi, kids. Hi, Phil. For me, that's what exactly I had to do. I had to get from the bottom and push it real hard into the housing. So I'm gonna clean my working surface. Try to get this in here. Valve body in first. Remembering, trying to remember to not drop this manual pin. There's a hole. It's gotta go up. This is gonna be my bolt that I used to hold it. Let's see if we can get it in there. Oh, I had it. Oh, I had it. Oh, oh come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now I just gotta get this wire shoved in. All right, that's all I'm doing. A couple threads. Right, let's get this. I think need some bolts in it. Keep that gasket down. Oh goodness, okay, slow down. So top left is a one bolt. Driver's side, short bolt. I gotta slow down or I'm gonna put this gasket on wrong and it's gonna have to all come off again. Now we can deal with the wire. We can do our bolts. Valve body's back on, solenoid pack is in. I think what we are going to do is put all of these bolts back in um, finger tight. And then we're gonna go through the Tightening sequence, which I conveniently wrote on that card so I don't have to go get grease all over my laptop, which I will put on the screen for you so you can pause it. Everything is hand tight. Um, I did pull my computer back out because I'm paranoid. 10 Newton meters, it's not a lot. 89 inch pounds or 10 Newton meters. It's kind of the home stretch. Once this is in, throw that pan back on there. We need to get that pan on there uh, in the next hour so I can eat dinner. Right there. Bolts are tightened up, torque in sequence. This stupid air breather again. I'm gonna be aggravated. What are we getting hung up on? There we go. It was the air breather. Oh my goodness. Shift solenoids are in. Seems to be running pretty good. I've put about 50 miles on it today. Overall, not a difficult job. Something you can definitely do at home if you take your time. Only need a few tools an eight millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter deep well. 10 millimeter wrench might be helpful and you'll need a torque wrench. I'll link below to a shift pack so you can pick one up for yourself. And uh, anyway, I hope you found this helpful. We'll catch you on the next one.